Are you having trouble getting your kids to focus and regulate as they head back to school? The problem could be attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. 1.5 million Canadians have an ADHD diagnosis and today we're looking at nutrition to help manage those symptoms. Registered dietitian Andrea Holwegner joins us. Now food itself can't cure or or cause ADHD, Andrea, but it can really help with regulating those emotions. Absolutely. So oftentimes there's a lot of confusion around following a lot of different specialized diets or taking out certain types of foods. Um, but really the science is actually very clear that nutrition and food does not cure or cause ADHD. But what we do know is that Certainly managing healthy nutrition can further help to optimize how you're thinking at school or at work. And uh, since this is affecting a lot of people and we're getting back into the school term here, it's really important to look at our nutrition. And then looking at that nutrition, starting with protein, uh, complex carbs, really balanced meals and, and cutting out some of that sugar. You bet. So one of the things that's really important, whether you're treating ADHD with uh, some sort of stimulant medication or other medication, or maybe you're not and you're really looking at more behavioral um, aspects of management. But regardless, it's very clear when you have a good source of protein in your meals and snacks, it can really help to sustain that blood sugar control. Because I think we've all had days where maybe our nutrition was a bit off. Maybe we only ate carbohydrate rich foods, which we all love, but our blood sugars feel like they're on a big roller coaster ride. And if you struggle with ADHD, it's going to further make keeping focused and uh, having good attention that much more difficult. Ah, so really regulation would be the key. You've got some uh, ideas for us. And also, you're going to talk about uh, topping up that omega 3. You bet. So let's talk a little bit about marrying carbohydrates with protein together. So if we're thinking about carbohydrates are a good source of, of sort of healthy sugars for our brain, we need them for energy. What I've got here is uh, perhaps one that could work for uh, those of you en route to pick up kids for music or school, or school sports of some sort, um, is a smoothie made with some Greek yogurt, lots of fruit in there, throw it in a thermos or a travel mug and you're off to the races. Another example here of marrying that carbohydrates for your brain, but also sustaining with that protein source is a hard cooked egg. And this is a zucchini chocolate loaf from my freezer. So of course my son really loves this type of a snack um, because hey, who doesn't love chocolate? <laughs> this one here, um, you can get your kids to make these up uh, for everyone in the house, whether it's adults or teens, but uh, really good snack mixes. Of course you can use a any kind of a commercial trail mix, but I like to put in some nuts and dried fruit, some pretzels, um, and really great handful of those. Excellent sort of carb and protein uh, snack again. Um, of course, any kind of a nut um, and a piece of fruit makes a great combo. And then of course, just your standard crackers and cheese. What we know about ADHD is the more fiber that you can eat, the better vitamins, minerals, and longer lasting foods can be. So really look for crackers and grains that have lots of whole grain and whole wheat in there. I thought this one was a fun one to show you. Um, this one works great for school lunches as well, but this is a waffle literally out of the freezer. Um, my suggestion when you're waking, making waffles or pancakes is throw in some hemp hearts to really boost that protein level again. And I've just put a little cream cheese and jam here. You could kind of make them as little sandwiches with French toast or pancakes or waffles as a snack on the go. And these can be eaten cold and most kids will really enjoy these. So that's you know what, Andrea, try. that looks just so delicious. I could eat that right now. Uh, we're running out of time. Could you just uh, uh, address the, the omega-3? Because we do hear more about omega-3 in brain. Okay, yes. So omega-3 in the brain is very important from an ADHD management perspective. So if you love fish, this is a great thing to incorporate. If you don't, definitely I would consider uh, working with your pediatrician, your physician, or a registered dietitian experienced in ADHD to really help you on that dosing that's really safe for um, healthy brain management and what other health issues that you might have going on. Okay, well that is fantastic advice. Really 
for everybody because it's all about regulating and staying steady. Complex carbs, a good protein, uh, make sure you've got that combo. And you've got some great research and some great articles on your website, uh, Andrea. So healthstandnutrition.com is going to expand on the conversation that we just had. If you could just drop that waffle off over here, I would just be forever grateful. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks for having me.